Hello and welcome to the Advanced Age Roleplaying Gamers Podcast. It's April Fool's Day and it's also our one year anniversary. So thanks for coming along with us on this journey. Journey, journey. I hate that word. But anyway, thanks for coming with us and listening and watching and, and giving us the support and feedback. Uh, but as a special treat today, we're releasing a lost episode from our Alien campaign. So this has never been heard before by anybody outside of our group, and, and even most of our group hasn't heard this yet. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Pandemic trapped a bunch of aging role-playing gamers in their homes, forcing them to crawl out of their pen and paper comfort zone and into the online world of virtual tabletops and video calls. To join them as they raise the curtain to share their stories, insights, and love all things geek. Welcome to the Advanced Age Role-Playing Gamers Podcast, assholes. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, the doctor, the good doctor, you're in the uh, San, San Rocco Medical Facility. Okay. The infamous uh, chest burster is uh, over. And I'll, I'll also drag the doctor out by his lapels. Are there any more of these motherfuckers who got, got these kind of symptoms? Who? Is she one of the, the four we were looking for? <laughs> they both came in last night, and and uh, Carvalho was, was severely beaten, and, and uh, uh, this uh, Wojcik person uh, brought him in, and, and uh, I did blood tests on both of them. And... Um, see a way to ruin it without killing him, but I was, I was going to try. That's, you know, it's my duty as a doctor to save him. But, uh, uh, when, when Wojciech's, uh, scans of blood work came in, it was, uh, it was really, really bizarre. Like, uh, blood was squirming with, uh, these unidentified microorganisms and they were evolving and changing at an alarming rate. Um, yeah, Carvalho was had elevated white blood cells. They they were normal than that, but uh, um, the blood in Wojcik's body, the organism is really, you know, her biology in replacing with with its own. Hoping to get uh, Carvalho to the uh, the medical frigate that's that's at the base, the 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 Monaghan. Um, but containment method. I do question the nature of moving it to the frigate. But that's just a medical opinion. They could freeze them if we got them to the frigate, then we could do more studies. Just, just assuming that they're not there, assuming that they're immobilized before getting them to the frigate. Well, yeah. So, what time did Carvalho come in here yesterday? This is really the middle of the night, maybe probably like 3 a.m., something like that. So, we're talking 10 hours. Ten hours now. Uh, yeah, it's 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 the this thing in his chest uh, seemed to grow at an, an alarming rate. It was uh, it was really half that half that size when he came in. I mean, yeah, let me take you over to this terminal here, and uh, you know, I'll log in and, and let's let's fall back to the entrance area and do a terminal there. Because if we had to get the fuck out, we have an armored vehicle that we can get into. Just in case any of the other motherfuckers show up. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. We can yeah, we can go out up front there. I can access it from from up there. All right. So just everybody. Else. Hey, uh, Nathan, if I get a chance, uh, PFC Dante is going to want to talk to one of the uh, interns. Okay. And see if he can get some uh, pain medicine. Uh, okay. Yeah, his his uh, his back has really been hurting him, and he was injured recently. His arm and his, perfectly his, fine with PFC. Pardon? <laughs> Perhaps maybe I can provide you some pain relief. Do, do you got some? You got some pain pills there, uh, Chaplain? My back's killing me, and I, I hurt. You know, I hurt my arm. You know, I'm supposed to be gone. You know that, right? Like, I'm supposed to be shipped out on medical, but here I am lugging this launcher around, and man, my it's been really just been rough riding in that APC. My whole back's sore and my arm. I'm so terribly sorry about the pain you're in. Yeah, just if you got a little something that can uh, tide me over, that'd be great. Yeah, you talked to 
Uh, you talked to the intern, Duncan, and uh, yeah, he says that the, he could probably. What the hell? It looks like somebody's already ransacked it. Oh, are you kidding me, guys? I will call. <laughs> are you, is it Mason? Is it, uh, okay. We seem to have some evidence of one of the AWOL units, I mean, individuals possibly being here, Marines. Um, yeah. That's off for a second. Didn't somebody last week raid, raid the closet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I hope my owner raid the closet. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, damn it. <laughs> I, I just want to, yeah, I just want to make sure that I remember that correctly. That the, so, so the, the, there are some, you, you did miss some pain pills and, and, uh, um, cause you're mostly after the X stems, if I'm not mistaken. I, I didn't find anything. I own a fat at all. Um, so but well, there, um, Dante, I think I may have something for you eventually. Oh, that'd be really great, Chaplain. Yeah, it's just been. It's just really bugging me. I thought I was better, but I just, it's just lugging this gear, you know, with the bum arm. It's really just making everything else hurt. Indeed. When you review the files, Chaplain, uh, uh, the scans of the blood and the, the blood samples and, and the, you know, this, this organism, organism uh, are swirling around in uh, uh, Wachek's blood. I look at the doctor and said, and have you taken a sample of that of that life form? Uh, no. I mean, it's all, it's all dead now. Even dead, it may be valuable. I'm oh, sure. That's the first put out anyway. Yeah, so he'll put it in like a, in a basically like a, a sealed, sealed bag for you. Yeah, and he'll he'll bring it back to you in a in a bag, and it's like, yeah, I guess if you can take this to the to Fort Nebraska and, and get them to analyze this, that would be. Is there anything else you guys want to do in the hospital? Yeah, how many rooms are set up for isolation here? Because if you get more of these guys in here, I don't want you trying to save their lives, or we're going to deal with that kind of mess again. Hey, cold storage. Uh, well, there is cold storage, but that's it. Won't get really cold enough to really do what they need to do. There's not not they're not cryogenic storage. It's just cold. I'm worried about isolating the infected people. This way, you can lock them in a place where they can't hurt anybody else. And they can be better studied. Oh, we can see what we can do. I mean, there's really you know me, uh, Duncan, and a couple of med techs right now. So there's really not enough. <laughs> What we really need to do is get off this fucking moon. I'm sorry, what did you say? Where's your security station? I mean, we don't really have a... Got a fucking hospital that doesn't have security. I mean, this is... this is a, this is. A... You got cameras at least? Sure, yeah. Show me where I can pull up the files from last night when that, when, when our, when that trader left. Uh, all right. Uh, he goes to the, the front again and, and pulls up the... Security feed. This is so the security covering the lobby, and really just right in front of the uh, entrance there, right in a couple of the hallways, uh, going north. And it looks like it looks like she stops to talk to somebody briefly. All right, I'll, I'll pass her through my 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 feed camera. I'm the gunny. You seeing this? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Or, yeah. Who's? Can we get the fuck out of this chop saw right now? Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, well, so so I I can call that in right now. You know, they only got a few people here. Uh, Gunny, I, I was just thinking maybe maybe they, they should just leave here and uh, go to the uh, Fort Nebraska, and because uh, they're they're no good here, they they can't keep track of everybody. We probably need some medical people. They should just bug out, lock the doors. Um, the thing, no, is, then you're gonna deal with, the thing is, then you're going to deal with the infected people. Wander around aimlessly rather than coming to a central point where they can maybe be corralled. Are they are they going to send some uh, some some troops out here? That's up to the captain because the UPP folks ain't going to go to Fort Nebraska. Yeah, I don't know that uh, Colonel Myers has anybody else to spare besides us. I'm going to move towards the morgue. Okay, of course you are. Actually, you know what? Let me check out Duncan. Uh, the proper amount of eyelids. His lip nodes do not look swollen. <laughs> uh, there we are. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. There, there are five people in the morgue. Should I click it? Well, it's, 
No modifiers. Uh, two successes. So pupils a little dilated, uh, heart rate a little high, kind of a little bit of a, basically all the signs of, of uh, stress and, and exhaustion, kind of all wrapped into one. <laughs> and then move on to the morgue. <laughs> yeah, so the morgue uh, is, um, there's just pull out body drawers and there's uh, five occupants right now. Um, uh, like this black glittering silt. We're asphyxiated by this kind of um, powdered oil. Just like basically like oil that's been treated with something that turns it into powder. Hmm. Well, you know, why not just check the vitals of the, them anyway? So you, you, you touch them and you get some of this silt on your skin and you see that it's it kind of is like super sticky. Uh, on your on your skin, close the drawer and go and go rinse it in the uh, in whatever that little chemical wash thing they have in certain places. It, it, it takes a little, little while to get it off, but eventually get it off. But it's definitely it's um, very it seems very caustic to your synthetic skin. Well, yeah, no, nobody of uh, of you can write down the names, but there you go. No, they were, they were asphyxiated by it. They breathed it in, and it basically filled up their lungs. It's going to coat their lungs, but it didn't dissolve them away. So I'll need to have a coating of blood. <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah, need, I mean, I'll need, a, I'll need an organic blood. You need a skin suit. A skin suit. There you go. <laughs> you need a cadaver and some lotion. <laughs> Oh, get out! Oh, I need to get. Uh, I guess the uh, PFC needs his pills. Don't we? Oh. Don't we have a dropship incoming? Uh, no, the pills would be great. I, I think we were going to head over to the location of the bad guys, right? The insurgents via the dropship. Yep. Yeah. We need to fly there. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. If you've got something, that'd be that'd be great. That would not much appreciated. Perhaps. No. Okay. Here you go. Ah, thanks. Dante will take a swig from his canteen and swill down the pain pills. Dante, remember, who gave that to you? Uh, you did. Uh, Warrant Officer Chaplin? Yes. <laughs> I may have something for you at some point. I just need you to do it when I ask you. Uh, sure, whatever. You're an officer. And according to uh, the dead guy, uh, this is where the insurgent base is. So I'm going to call over to the Marshall Station and ask if they're getting any calls from around the area of the uh, insurgent base. Uh, yeah, you get a hold. It takes a while to get a hold of the receptionist, and uh, she says, "No, it's uh, nothing from around there uh, that they've heard." Where do you where are you getting the majority of the reports? Well, really, there's really nobody. There's uh, still the nicer homes up there. It's more uh, uh, kind of closer to the uh, most reports are closer to Fort Fort Nebraska. Hmm. Uh, so the UPP might be using them as a uh, means to harm our presence. Uh, I guess so. I mean, you know, it's you know, who knows who knew there would be real monsters out there. This is all crazy, man. We're in space, man. What the fuck do you think was out here? <laughs> the industrial expansion of humankind. All right. Um, just give me your your order of, of leaving the hospital. So who's walking out? I'll probably uh, take points since he's, since he's in the back getting drugs. Yeah, yeah Dante, I'll take up the rear rear guard. Mm. All right. Uh, so Hammer comes out, and so when when uh, he gets to Iona, and, and you look down, and you see a, a, a triangle with three red dots. I, I don't want to hurt anybody. It seems to be a one way. I, I need to talk to you. I need to know I can trust you. Who are they saying this to in general? 
Uh, like everybody in general. Can we see, we see where the light's coming from, though? Not really. It's not like a... Uh, by the way, the snow has really picked up and the wind has really picked up. It's probably something on one of the, the, roof, the roofs across the street. So I, I, I need to talk to you guys, but I don't know... I think you got to put the gun down. Well, I yell to the... Well, they can fucking start by shutting off their uh, laser sights. Danny, I could speak to him. So it's a, it's a woman's voice, um, and you, someone basically kind of like stand up like out of out of nowhere on, on the roof across the uh, street, and she she's got this huge sniper rifle, and uh, she removes her hood, and you can see that it's. Uh, Right away, that's uh, Corporal Wright from your um, uh, AWOL list. She's the sharpshooter, right? Yeah. Uh, she, she's looking at you guys. You know, like, don't pull your gun on me, or, or I'm gone. Yeah, but I, I don't want to kill another Marine. I don't want. I don't want to kill. I don't kill. How many Marines? Yeah. What do you mean another? A Marine. Period. Oh, no, a Marine. <laughs> I'm really stressed right now. It's not a time to correct me. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I could come talk to you. I, I think I really made a big mistake. I don't want to... The others, they, they wanted to sell out to the UPP, but it's just wrong. I can't do it. So if you but, come down, come down and talk to us. We, we know you guys have been having some problems. One of them's dead back there. I understand we had nothing to do with his death. <laughs> <laughs> that should be established. <laughs> Why don't you show him the doggy bag, Chaplain? <laughs> Let's not scare them off, guys. Shut up. <laughs> but we got to know that you're okay because your fellows weren't. And we think maybe this inoculation can help. But I had the inoculation. I don't think it did anything. Wait. Who gave you? All right, make your um, make your manipulation roll. Didn't sure have manipulation. <laughs> oh God, this is gonna be awful. <laughs> At least she opens fire. <laughs> you have the calming, soothing voice. Yeah, I don't think I can do that because I have no manipulation ability. What do you have for empathy? Do I have empathy? Apparently not. <laughs> that seems awful odd. Well, then you should do a base roll of four. But it's zero, so maybe that's why. Well, you have a zero in both the skill and the governing stat. Yeah, there, there, there it showed up. Yeah, yeah. so, so uh, I can roll it for you. I don't know why you can't roll it. Yeah. That worked. Let me try it again. I didn't add a plus one to that yet. Give me a second. I didn't add a plus. Let me just try one more time. Oh, no, you can't. You're in it. You're sins. Sins can't push roll. Well, I'm so sorry. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so, so she's not convinced. So she's a uh, Lance Corporal? Yeah. It lulls the mind into a sense of indifference. No guns out. We'll just have some words. We're, we're going to find out who gave you the inoculation and see if there's anything we can do for you. Did, did did their whole squad get the inoculation? Oh, ask them where the squad leader went. No, we're not going to shout that across the parking lot, Green Bean. Okay, all right. She, she uh, she's like, all right, uh, I'm, I'm coming down. And and she she comes down and she you know she doesn't get real close to you guys, but she gets closer enough to have like a. A conversation that's not, sh you know, shouted across the rooftops. So why don't you just, uh, mm. let it, why don't you just come over here and let us take a look at you, make sure you're okay, make sure you're not suffering from the same kind of problems that uh, the other two we've encountered have. And uh, when do you usually get taken care of first? Can I whisper into my com to um, the gunny? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, remember, she has some sort of venomous sex in her throat. Where's that? Keep an eye out. Hey, maybe mm -hmm. the doctors could take her blood and, and tell her whether she's got those things in it. That's why I want to get her close enough. 
That's what they get. All right. Hey, here we go. God, I wish I was a real medic and get reduced that. Oh, well. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean, real medic? Fuck. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Wait, this diploma says medical school. <laughs> Very medical. You know, you know I, I need real, real doctors, and I don't want anywhere near the Colonel fucking Myers. You know, it's, it, it's all his fault. I, I just, you know, I, I, I think we're all on the right side, but, but Wayland Yutani bitch, uh, you know, they're 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 doing experiments on us. For me, he's here, you're you're here, muffled. Fucking Yutani, I knew it. <laughs> Goddamn corporate bastards. The thing is, right now, we need to make sure we can try and get it out of you so you can survive. <laughs> now, that colonel, was that was that the colonel commanding us? Yeah. That seems highly irregular, but... So, so you guys got shots? And they gave it to you? We were part of this uh, Project Life Force, and I was, um, <laughs> I was security, and... The, these things uh, attach themselves to our, our, our faces and, and, and they put these babies inside your chest and, and then, they, then it kills you. And they, they gave us this, this inoculation that was supposed to like take care of it, but you know, people were still dying. You mean? It's all on sub-level three. It's, it's, it's all there and all the evidence is there. If we could just get to it, we can. The question well, is, how sick are you now? And would you be able to take us all the way back there before something happened to you? Shouldn't we go to the medical facility and see what we can do about removing it? Or at least trying to suppress its continued growth? But your fat there, your fellow yeah. marine, and they'll do, there isn't a faith they would like for you to share. I feel like a dead marine walking, but, but we can go. I mean, I, I guess I can get scanned. Hey, what about your sergeant? She went to meet with someone in the UPP area. Is she going to turn that stuff over yeah, to you? She, she, what you doing at the clinic? The UPP will, will, will treat us. But but I, I, don't, I think that's all a lie. I think she's fooling herself. Yeah, so. Where did you try and convince her so we can hopefully go there and maybe pull her back? Right, right here when she, she left the hospital last night. Do you know where she went afterwards? Yes, I think she was meeting uh, them at the uh, at the oil refinery. I think, but I'm not, I'm not sure. For you, then get you back on base so we can help out. So you take her inside, and the doctor seems like shocked to see you back so soon, or haven't really left yet. Um, mm -hmm. But he like ushers her right into. Uh, I think it's well. Thank you, doctor, for assisting. Oh, oh okay. I think she likes the presence of a marine, or at least a marine auxiliary. <laughs> well, I quietly ask him, have you, have you used these sedatives on her? He hasn't tr treated her before. Very well. I'll try and knock her, knock her like dead out. Oh, okay. We just need to suppress the overall growth. We think the more unlikely, the more agitated you are, the more active the overall growth response as far as defensive nature of this uh, Biophagic xenome infection. Needs. Does more more have locking freezer drawers? Um, we <laughs> <laughs> whatever those things are, those little melding torches. <laughs> when she's out with a melding torch, it gets a ceiling door. <laughs> All right, did you see my message? To who? to you? Yes. So. Um, I'll need some time along with her, I guess. Just a little okay. examination. Um, out to the doctor to um, see if he can prep the uh, prep the surgery ward for me. Or actually, yeah, him or Duncan. Just I'll have Duncan do it and have the, as the doctor, we can sterilize and prepare the surgery ward for us. We may be able to move quickly enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, do you want to do a surgery roll? Oh, I guess I should really care. Yes. <laughs> I'm guessing that's medical aid. Yeah, I think you get a plus two for the having all the surgery gear there. Okay. 
It's not bad. I have a flamethrower already. Just saying. Hey, one success. With a plus four, only got one success. What do you do with it? Don't want it possibly infecting anyone else. And, and what do you do with uh, the corporal? <laughs> no, not really. You have the inoculation? Yeah, she doesn't have any of that stuff. White blood cell count and and just that thing in her chest. Better sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. All right. So, so I'm, 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 I'm going to make certain that I'm, not, I'm, I'm doing everything I need to do for all the people I'm doing things for. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I did. I mean, yeah. it's an hour, so I did that. So, yeah. So I'm going to let her sleep. We'll see if we can get her some antibiotics to ensure there's no infection. Um, see if the boom. And um, then sterilize the entire surgical ward when she's out. We'll move her to a recovery room, I guess. Uh, lands um, in the yard. Uh, one uh, gunner in there, and they're uh, happy to have you, and they, you just need to tell them uh, where to go. Are there additional reloads in here? Uh, no. <laughs> how, how are you on reloads for the smart gun? Got five left. Yeah. You getting on the, uh, the, the drive ship? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to ask for Ask command at uh, Fort Nebraska about any intel on any oil refineries under UPP control. Uh, they've got nothing right now on that. Well, then let's do a flyby of the uh, known base. Okay, Johnny, uh, what do you what do you think that trader said about? Colonel, man, you think that's that's true? God, that can't be true, right? Like our own our own colonels wouldn't do that to us. Like, of course like, not. We're, like we're, we're they wouldn't do stuff like this. Like Shut us. up, maggot! I'm freaking out. Calm the fuck down. She was just stressed. Huh? We can only deal with, with the problems in front of us. That's a problem for later. Oh, oh my god, I'm freaking out. I can't breathe. <laughs> this is too much, man. We can't put space bugs in us. <laughs> I'll turn on. Everything's fine, PFC. <laughs> I don't want space bugs. We'll do everything we can to keep you from getting space bugs. And if you're a Marine, you'll be able to shoot faster before the bugs get to you. Right. Apparently, they sat around and letting things crawl on their face, sit on their face, and put legs in them. Don't put a strange helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe. We'll reach for the rocket launcher first. That puppy bed. <laughs> All right. All right, yeah. He starts, like, itching his arms. He's like, I want to know if I had space bugs. Mm. Don't. Uh, uh, man, I'm going to need a sedative. I can't breathe. So you make a, a beeline for up here. And you're, you're flying around, and you see the... Uh, Carvalho was, was talking about, and the pilot says, uh, hey, I, I see a spot, you know, I don't want to get too close right now, but it looks like there's a spot I could, I could, uh, you could rappel into uh, in the yard. There's a, there's a, a, a pretty good sized yard with uh, some snow drifts on it. It looks like there's a, uh, there's a wall around, around the yard and there's a guard shack out front and there's a two story house. Does this uh, ship have any IR capability? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it does. Just that shitty 1980s IR, though. <laughs> Six color. I'm fine with that. Weighs <laughs> like 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you have to crank it. <laughs> like, I, I, you know, I had a um, had a scope that weighed. Almost twice as much as my rifle. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the night vision scope I had in like '91. Was this massive scope that sat on top of my rifle? Like weighed a ton. It was ridiculous. Now, what do you think they're like now? Oh, like, I saw one in a sharper image. They had night vision oh, yeah. goggles for the dad that likes to look out into the woods at night for like 200 bucks. It was crazy. <laughs> So, so you, 
you just hit the deer with the scope instead. Right. So, so in the realm of other crazy stuff, somebody had a great idea of how to turn our uh, Sony handy cam into a Sony night vision handy cam. They built a little metal bracket with two screws. You put a little mm-hmm. night vision thing here, and you put the Sony handy cam right next to it, and it turned it into a night vision Sony handy cam. Was that while you were out in the field? That that was made by uh, L3 uh, for our man portable night vision data collector. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, um, did we get a chance to reduce any stress in the in, on the flight? Oh yeah, because I've done my banter. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll, I'll let you guys. Uh, yeah, do your banter biz- business, and everybody who has stress can reduce too. Is yep, that I can. Works? I can make folks reduce too. Uh, stress and just. What does it take to get a health back? Uh, same thing is is uh, one basically like like fifteen. Minutes, half an hour of of, uh, of doing nothing. So that's that. I'll, I'll give you that much time. You know, just chilling in the. Um, okay. All right. Where does he want to drop us? Sign here. Somewhere. So somewhere in that box, he wants to drop you. Ooh, okay. uh, we're going to think about something else first. Is uh, first circle the area so we know what's around us. So can we get like the whole? Area view as seen from here. Yeah, these are just different levels of, of, of what you see here. So there's no other. It's the only building. Do we see? Hey, uh, Iona should drop a stress. You got you got a stress there. You can get rid of. Is there any heat signatures showing up on the outside? Four in the yard. Do they appear to scatter as we? Uh, yeah. Drop us off on a main road nearby. Okay. So that we can drive into the nice armored warm thing. Mm. I don't mind. Um, ask the weapon systems officer uh, to keep an eye out. Let us know what he sees those hot spots doing as we drive up. Yeah, they, they uh, looks like a, a couple of them hop on uh, APCs. And, uh, oh yeah, well, you can't really see it through the gate, but... Uh, the, 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 the aircraft can. Yeah, yeah, they're they're sh- they shoot some video to uh, to the to the APC, and you can kind of see them moving around. You can see the two are staying in the in the guard shack. There's still uh, one on top of the house, but it's, it's kind of he's taking shelter, taking cover. Uh, so you got uh, APC over here, and APC over here. And uh, uh, yeah, just two two more guys just spread out. Another one kind of hiding behind one of the APCs. They've got APCs. Yeah, let's. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. Let me clarify. Are we still in? Are we still? Maybe we should. Uh... Uh, you're you're not in the in the uh, drop ship anymore. You're in the. Uh, uh, he he dropped you off on the ground, and you're making a, a ground assault. That's what I'm saying. Can we, or say, can we coordinate? Yeah, like uh, airstrike first, and then uh, and then we go rolling in. Yeah. <laughs> are, are we over so, here right, where Hammer is? Uh, no, we're somewhere over here on the road. Yeah, where Hammer is at, right? Is it? Oh, uh, so yeah. Have the airship blow up the vehicles. Yes. It sh- it, uh, it fires at um, the the ATVs uh, right here. Uh, Where? Right here. What about the, wait wait what is it, what about this what is this right there? There's oh ATVs okay well still so, yeah we'll leave it goes up yeah 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 so we're like uh, I thought you said APCs no no I, I said APCs but I meant ATV <laughs> oh so you mean. Oh. <laughs> With like rocket launchers that were fighting megaports. <laughs> yeah, megaports. That's a good yes. <laughs> Lots and lots of fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it uh they light up um the unmistakable sound of uh shoulder fired rockets and the uh 
hit the uh, one hits the cockpit, one hits the tail of the uh, of the Cheyenne, and it spins out. Does it crash into the building? And it crashes. Um, <laughs> it crashes over. Guard over. check. Guard check. Guard. Oh darn. <laughs> <It's> shitty <pilot. laughs> yeah. what I said numbered entity alright so uh, now there's okay, there's no surprise and you have no airship and but you did take out a bunch of uh, motorcycles that was not even we didn't even get it's like they only fired rockets they didn't fire their chain gun at the roof of the building who are this is why these guys Quite frankly, that crew deserved their their retrieve <laughs> a wall person, not just burn it to the ground. You're supposed to re- retrieve the a wall. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm sorry. I Two I of them don't... are dead. <laughs> hey, hey, we found them like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess it's through the gates with the surprise motherfucker maneuver from last week. Yep. What did we surprise? <laughs> Let's Kool Aid this motherfucker. <laughs> Blow up the ATVs and go to the door. Surprise, motherfucker! I'm like, we know you're here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're charging through the snow, and again, like this, the visibility is starting to get pretty bad. But you basically you you spin out in the in the front of this gate, and it's dark, it's cold, s- the snow is just. Blowing everywhere. Um, uh, uh, flies across the <laughs> slow mode. Is, oh, is it only one dove, or is it like it has to be like three? It's one dove. It's, it's a special um, xenomorph dove. <laughs> it's got a, it's got a little second dove mouth that comes out. <laughs> yeah. Just like, mm, seed, seed. <laughs> Seals a prize right in your hand. <laughs> it, you know, he's gonna be like, John's gonna just like, ah, how did we lose that? Like, <laughs> yeah. hey. We have gumption. <laughs> graffiti. And, and graffiti. Assuming mm-hmm. they can read. They're UPP. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, it's got armor of eight. So that's not bad. And they're going to be spinning their action reloading. Well, we're, we're going to we're spend our action just putting bullets in plasma into them. I, I think we're probably... <laughs> uh, I'm uh, for you. Here's some bullets that you can be carrying. <laughs> as, as the mother here, I think you had plenty of time to reload while you're crashing the gate. No. We're going to save time by doing a gate-crashing montage. Yeah. <laughs> We're not driving our uh, APC right through the gate. Wait, wait. Are you going to spin the APC around once we get in? Kick the doors, uh, the back doors open, A team style, and then we can. Is there anything? Out? Is there anything we can use as a ramp over the wall? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you wait a minute, I saw some barrels, some rubber bands, and a few uh, empty boxes of. Uh, Pampers. I might be able to whip something up. And we have a clearance of four inches on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> the worst operating vehicle ever designed. <laughs> if I were to strap some of my rockets to the underside of the APC, I might give us some extra lift. Yeah, shoot, shoot the rocket launcher at the, right before the gate. Let the blast lift us over. That's right. <laughs> How many yeah. side can we get this? That could totally work. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've actually fought people, so that that should be interesting. Yeah. Whoa, they're deserters. They ain't people no more. Well, those are insurgents. They're not really deserters. There's well, there's one deserter inside. You think? Which we should try to capture. So that's their ups, right? Well, the rest of them are ups. Can just... Yeah, yeah. They're they're, they're a space commie uh, ISIS. We call them youpers. This compound does look a little bit like Bin Laden. If you had, I don't think that's coincidence. That's oh, okay. I'm just like this really does look a little. <laughs> I was hoping he could just drop us in the yard, but apparently he only drops outside the gate. And I'm like, you have a dropship. 
Well, there's this whole, like, we surprise, we go in, we shoot them all before they get to the vehicles. But now, at least, what we're doing is we're giving them a fair chance. <laughs> we're saying, you know what? You go ahead and get into your positions. We'll be in in a few rounds. Did you think anything survived the crash? Ooh. I have to show you, like, in the, in the, whoops, I, I closed it, but in the, um, the module, they had, like, all these little, Rules for rappelling into the compound and, and what happens when you rappel in. You were saying you couldn't rappel when inside the, I mean, like, it's a flying vehicle, rappel over the house or something. Yeah, it's weird. Like, like, well, the downside is they had someone on the roof, they had people in the, in the guardhouse in the yard and, and in the yard, and the dropship is not quiet. Yeah, so I'm like, us rappelling is like, hey, no, we're out here. Like, oh, I can just shoot up. Let me fix myself to the stationary rope and fast rope down. Right. As opposed to surprise. <laughs> Have you ever been to the shore where you you, you shoot something that thing enough that the balloon fills up and explodes? That would have been. That's <laughs> 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 Um, do any of us have sniper capabilities? Uh, not anymore. She she had a problem. I mean, <laughs> I, have, I have a missile launcher. But wait a second, <laughs> um, Nathan. Yeah, I, I did want to retcon thing. One thing. I mean, she went into surgery. I'm sure she didn't keep her gun, right? Or a ghillie suit. So I would have given that to a friend. To hold. Can you hold this to her till she comes out of surgery? <laughs> gray art her as soon as she went out. So just so you know, if one of you dies here, you know, she can be used as, as a backup character. So <laughs> well, she's not right now, recovering. Comforting, thank you. But I mean, yeah, I mean, we could have gotten the ghillie suit from her, right? Oh, sure. I mean, mm. is there much of a ghillie suit? This is a snow planet. So. <laughs> she probably has a snow. It's probably a snow ghillie. Oh, it's actually a therm optics. Yeah. <laughs> it's the equivalent of, of covering yourself in honey and then talcum powder. <laughs> I, I forgot what universe I was in. <laughs> I'll go to uh, next week blowing stuff up. Yep. Yeah. yeah.